let's take a look at a big one, the nines. Here's what they look like on the times tables chart. 9 times 9 is 81. Here's what the nines times tables look like on the number chart. 9 times 1 is 9. Add 9 more. 9 times 2 is 18. Add 9 more. 9 times 3. Do you see a pattern here? To add 10 to a number doesn't change how many 1's there are. We just add to the 10's. So 9 plus 10 is 19. 10 plus 29 is 39. One way to add 9 to a number is to add 10 and then back up 1. So to figure out 9 times 3, if you remember 9 times 2 is 18 because you memorized your 2's facts, 18 up 10 to 28, back up 1 to 27. 9 times 3 is 27. Here's another pattern. Remember figuring out 9 times 4? 10 times 4 is 40. Back up 4 for 36. 9 times 5. 10 times 5 is 50. Back up 5 for 45. 9 times 5 is 45. For 9 times 6, we could take 45, jump 10 to 55, and back up to 54. We could also say 10 times 6 is 60 and back up to 54. 9 times 7, 63, we're backing up 7. All the way up, 9 times 9 is 90, we don't need to back up for that one. There's a way to do this backing up thing so you're always counting forward. Let's say you want to remember what 9 times 3 is. You know it's not 30, that's too big. If we count it on our fingers, 10, 20, 30, that's too big, so put that number down. Count by tens, but stop before the one you know is too big. So 10, 20. We need to back up 3 from 30, but that happens to be exactly the same thing as backing up 10 and adding 7. And that happens to be exactly how many fingers are on the other side of that one we took away. So to get the answer to any nines fact, you put down the finger of the fact you're looking for, count by tens, jump over that, and count by ones. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 5. You might remember it's 45, but put down the fifth finger, which is your thumb. 10, 20, 30, 40. Jump over it. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Oh, and one more thing to notice. The digits of the numbers, 4 plus 5, 2 plus 7, they add up to 9 all the time. If you want to know if you can divide any number by 9, add up the digits. If they add up to 9 or something that 9 goes into, that number is divisible by 9. One thing you can do to study these, besides taking practice quizzes, is to cover them up and say the next one. So we look at 9 times 3 is 27. Hmm, 9 times 2 is 18, back up 1, 9 times 3 is 27. It's worth taking the time to do it. Work hard now, work easy later. Next up is the threes, the legal stuff.